it's science time with Hoover and Sparrow. Welcome back kids, glad you could join us. It's a great time to stay inside and do science because staying in is the new going out. Hi superstars, we have a spectacular uh, superstar with us today. You're never gonna believe it, but Mr. Barker's here today, so here we go. Yay! <laughs> Hello, girls and boys. Our two books for today are Spots of Light and Stargazers. We hope you're having a good time on these remote learning days with your awesome teachers and have fun reading these books. Our first book is called Spots of Light, a book about stars. We're going to read about some constellations, not the entire book today. Constellations, do you see any patterns when you look at the stars? Do you see a bear, a dog, a frog, a fish? The sky is filled with the animals. Long ago, people used the sky like a dot-to-dot -dot game. They connected the stars like dots. They thought the stars were shaped like animals and people. These sky pictures are called constellations. Fun fact, people have named 88 constellations in the sky. Our second book is called Stargazers. We are also going to look at some constellations in this book. Long ago, people thought that certain groups of bright stars formed outlines of people, animals, or things in the sky. They gave them names. These star groups are called constellations. Some of the names sound strange. They came down from the Romans who spoke Latin. Today's stargazers and astronomers still use these old names. The Big Dipper is a pattern of stars in the constellation of Ursa Major, or the Great Bear. Nearby is the Little Dipper. The star at the end of the Little Dipper's handle is the North Star. The North Star has been used to guide people on their journeys for hundreds of years. One constellation was named Orion after a famous hunter and is seen in the winter in the southern night sky. Long ago, people thought the star group looked like a hunter with a club, shield, and belt. Near Orion is a group of stars that people thought looked like a dog. It is called the constellation of Canis Major, or the greater dog. There are 88 constellations. Some of them are seen at different times of the year. Stargazers and astronomers, astronomers can locate the stars and constellations in the sky by looking at star charts. Star charts are maps of the sky. Sometimes it may take time and patience to find a special star or a constellation. If you want to learn more about stars and stargazing, you can check out the rest of these two books. Wow! Was that ever spatial? <laughs> Imagine metering Mr. Barker here today. That just put a twinkle in my eye. <laughs> well, you know what? When he was ha showing us that book, Spots of Light, that just gave me an idea that we could do something with constellations. So I did a picture here, and I did my own constellation. I don't know if you can tell what it is, but I think, it, to me, it looks like a dog. So you could take even a pencil or chalk or something, and you could draw out your own design and trace it on some paper. So all you need is black paper or even another color paper and make a constellation, and you could name it and be really creative with that. So you could do that, because a constellation is a group of stars. A group of stars. So a little more challenging activity is with the book Stargazers, and you can make your own stargazer. The things that you will need are something black, paper, or a paper plate that's in a circle. And then you will need a tube to look through. So I'm just going to, I don't have a paper towel tube, but Mr. Sparrow threw all of mine away. So I'm just going to take a roll of, or some construction paper and roll it up so that it will, I can look through it. Okay, so I'm just going to use some tape on that so I can look through it. Then, for my stargazer, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to kind of make little circles on here, 
where I can put different groups of stars or different constellations. So this one's more challenging because you're not just doing one, you're putting as many as you can fit on there. If you're having trouble with the size, you, you could use like a bathroom cup and do it that way, okay? And then you can either leave them unattached and look at them this way, or another way to do it would be to figure out how to attach, this kind of looks like a magnifying glass, doesn't it? A small magnifying glass. And you could rotate that around to the different ones and actually have this attached to it so that it goes around and you could look at it. So that's a good way to make a whole bunch of different constellations using a stargazer. So we hope that your day was as fabulous as ours was with our special guest and we gave you two activities today because we're, we're giving you a challenge because we want you to reach, reach for, for the stars. stars.